How's it going? I'm good. How are you, Rachel? I'm doing well, thank you. Good. Um, hey, before we start off like the actual uh, uh, interview, man, I love Fargo. It's oh. it, it's it's like one, always got like the best sort of cast pound for pound. I mean, every season, it's just fantastic. Thank you. That's nice. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, speaking of that, I mean, another terrific cast. I mean, Severance. I mean, come on. Uh, it, like any show with like John Turturro and, uh, you know, Christopher Walken. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. um, so I, like when you say yes to this project, are like people like that and uh, like Adam, are, are they already cast in the leads? No. For Severance, we had nobody set when we started. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we just kind of started from the ground up and uh, you know, built it up. So uh, did you come in with um, ideas or did, um, uh, like I knew Ben Stiller was involved, did they come in with ideas and you just kind of gathered around and you know? Well, and I had worked with Ben for a number of years already at this point. So, you know, we had been loosely talking about the show as it was kind of becoming real. And, um, you know, Adam was always somebody who was, you know, some, I think they had even talked to each other about it like years ago when it was something they had, had first come to Ben's company. So, um, so yeah, so, so Adam was always part of the conversation from the get go. And then, you know, I did my process and, and we had, um, you know, like some final tests with people and, you know, Adam, Adam was the guy like, he's like, it's kind of like a no brainer with him. So it's very easy to say that, but, um, but uh, so then that was Adam. And then, you know, we did full searches for everybody, for Hallie and for, um, for Zach, you know, Zach Terry's role. And, and then for Taturo's list, I mean, role, we, we did, I did list for that, you know, and there's just so many, there's so many great actors um, in that world too. So it was kind of an abundance of riches to kind of like think about and explore. Um, I think just the big question on severance really became more about tone. And then once you kind of clicked into the tone, then you people started really taking shape so much more about who's really going to work in the, you know, in this world and this environment and stuff like that. Um, so that was kind of the process. I don't know, is that probably vague, but. That was oh, about. no, it sounds good. Yeah, I was going to ask you, um, like uh, when you're um, uh, first sort of approaching an actor or even like bringing them in for an audition or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, when you explain to them uh, like the story, uh, was it kind of hard for people to wrap their heads around at first? Um, I don't think so. You know, generally when people came into the office, you know, we'd have a chance to kind of do it once, right? Like I'll, I'll just focus on Hallie since that was like our, you know, like one of the big searches. And, um, and, you know, you do it once and then you had a chance to kind of talk about it, right? And just kind of see what's working, what's not working, what we think is, you know, for someone who had read the scripts, you know, having the chance to have read the scripts, like where I know the character's going, you know, flush out some backstory more, you know, give a little bit more information about the tone and then do it again, you know, from there and kind of like get it a little bit more um, on point, I think of what I, I thought Ben would be looking for. You know, um, but I didn't seem conceptually, it wasn't so crazy that people were just like, wait, what? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You know, what are we doing here? You know, I think people clicked, I think people clicked into it because at the end of the day, this, the, the concept is quite easy to explain. You know what I mean? And then when you read the size along with the concept, then I think you can, you can click into it. Right. Yeah. I when you um like when you first start out like do you have like a list of files like i think we should bring these these people in and and and, and then like how did you find uh, like a heli brit lauer yeah so it's kind of you know a little bit of everything right you certainly have your list of people that you've read before, loved before from watching things, you know, and if they're available, you know, absolutely get them um, to go on tape. And then on top of it, then you also do have agents, you have managers pitching, you know, that are bringing in. So it's like a mix of everything. It's your, your agents, your managers, and then it's the work we do as an office, you know, about 
trying to, you know, stay on top of seeing theater and, you know, things that are happening and, um, and then just trying to keep lists of things that of people we've loved, you know, watching. So uh, I think we saw a mix of all of that. And, uh, you know, I like to see a lot of people. I think that's kind of uh, probably my strength and my weakness, you know, is that like, I, um, so I, I like to feel at the end of the day that I've done like, this is my land. This is like my world, right? This is what I'm pulling from. You know, I kind of feel like I have a good like closure feeling on things. Um, but this was a really fun process to do. I love these scripts so much. Like I just, every scene I loved here. I mean, obviously after you hear it a lot, it can, you know, start turning on you a little bit, but I did love hearing all these scenes and, and hearing everything out loud. It was a lot of fun. Uh, just a weird question. How many emails m emails a day do you get? It's just like, oh my God, it's so funny you say that. Oh my God, so funny. <laughs> it's so funny you say that because literally my associate Rick Messina, I, I we always kind of have this thing where we'll get on a call with each other and I like to see how many by the time, ignore your email and by the time we're done, how many emails have shown up in your inbox by the time we're done with the phone call. It is just, it's incessant. It really is crazy. Are you watching my dog parade behind me? I, I do. Yeah, I saw, I saw your dog. <laughs> Was it just peanut? Oh, it's just one. Yeah. I have four. Usually they come filing in one after each other. <laughs> we have, we have one and he's, he's a handful. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot. There are a lot. <laughs> um, like you said, you know, I know you've uh, worked with um, Ben Stoller before. Like how much was he in, cause he, he direct, he didn't direct everything. I think like like seven or eight, five or six episodes. Yeah, he did two of the three blocks. He did two of the three. So like how much was he, was he involved at all in any of the casting? Oh yeah. Oh, for this? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Soup to nuts. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Ben is the most um, involved director ever not maybe not ever but like in in for my life and my people I work with he's so involved um from the beginning to the end he sees everything sees everyone he participates you know in sessions when he can um you know we talk non-stop about everything uh it's fun it's so collaborative and it's so it's so like safe to be really creative with him he's you know to just try you know you, I can come up with like the craziest idea and be like okay I have an idea for you and he'll be like that's ridiculous I'll be like okay <laughs> but you know he'll like we get to like talk things out or he or he'll have ideas about things and you know we'll talk those out too so it's a really collaborative um uh working relationship with him and he's super involved yeah uh, I, I'm an uh, I'm an actor as well and like I I I can't remember, like I when I auditioned, is it is it different auditioning for an actor slash director as opposed to just like solely a director? You know, I mean, I think for, I mean, I can't speak for actors. I can speak of what I think Ben brings into the room is you know a real. Um, I think he has real compassion for everyone. He's very, very kind. He's excited to watch people do stuff. Um, you know, on Walter Mitty, he used to read with people. I uh, know, I guess on Danamora, he did, maybe did he on Danamora too? I can't remember, but you know, he'll read with people when the, it calls for it. You know, he's just really, um, he enjoys the process quite a bit. Uh, yeah. What makes, uh, for you, what makes an audition um, uh, memorable? Like that you want to either bring them back again for that specific role to, you know, to get another look or that you may want to bring them back for something else down the road? I mean, I always say that it's great if an actor just comes in with a choice, you know, just something really specific. And even if it's not right, like if it's the wrong choice and obviously we can just be like, that's not the right choice. We, you know, like peer, you know, adjust to this, to this way of doing it instead. Um, I really, I just appreciate the specificity that people come in with. And I think that's kind of what can elevate, you know, an audition um, from, you know, from groups of, of seeing groups of actors and stuff like that. So I'm always just like, make a choice, come in, make a choice, 
you know, break it down however you need to, to get to that place for yourself. And, you know, obviously if there's any questions, reach out to your reps, have your reps reach out to us, ask us whatever question you need answered. You know, if there's some holes, you know what I mean? Or if you come into the room and you have some holes, you know, ask, you know, if we can plug those in for you and stuff like that. Um, you know, just to get as specific as possible. Um, so I just have a couple more sort of like acting questions. Uh, but I first, I actually want to go back one second. When like somebody like John Turturro or Christopher Walken comes on set, do you go there just to like fan person out? I wish, you know, it was during, I, we didn't get to because COVID kind of just jumped in the way of everything during this shoot. The shoot was incredibly long and complicated because of COVID. And, uh, and so it wasn't possible to just like get on a plane and go fly and go see some, you know what I mean? You had to mm -hmm. be like in the A zone and the RDB. It just wasn't set up for that. Normally though, I would have a thousand percent. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Absolutely. Absolutely. I would have made up some title to just go like, <laughs> like hang, but yeah, absolutely. You never believe I just got to yeah. go to set today. I got, I, you can't, I, I got to go. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll read a script and I'll be like, that's the scene I want to watch. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I, when that comes to fruition, like I want to be there for that scene. Mm -hmm. And so I'll do that during when I read um, different scripts. So Severance had like so many I wanted to watch, but uh, we just couldn't get to, it just wasn't possible, you know, to get to New York and everything. Right. Um, uh, what makes a good self tape? Um, well, outside of the, obviously the actor and the choices and all that stuff, um, actually being able to see somebody and hear them well. You know what I mean? Just like real basics, you know, that you need. You need to be able to see somebody. You need to be able to hear somebody. You need to have, um, you know, if they're reading with either somebody off camera, like have them like kind of near the camera, you know what I mean? So they're not in profile the whole time. Just like real basics of things like that um, is what makes a great self-tape. You know, um, but other than that, it's just the same stuff you would do in the room. Um, yeah. For uh, uh, demo reels or like clips, what, what do you prefer to see right now? Like uh, like a two minute reel with uh, clips of like everyone's work, uh, like a, a, a or like a, a clip of a certain character that might fit the role that you're looking for. Like, what's kind of the thing right now? Oh. Um... I feel like I kind of fluctuate back and forth between what I prefer on the on a given day. <laughs> um, I guess for me, I just want to be able to see like a scene when possible. You know what I mean? Like something that's um, something. I, I guess at the end of the day, that maybe breathes a little bit. You know, um, I don't know. I know those are really hard to kind of get together and to do and all that kind of stuff. I usually just, whatever I get is usually enough in one way or another. And if mm -hmm. I need more, I always, you know, I ask for more. Um, so, oh, that's funny. I haven't really thought about that for a while. I'm just like thinking this through, <laughs> think, thinking this through in real time, but um yeah, I think when possible, if there's like, if there is a scene in there that can breathe a little bit just to kind of really get the sense of somebody, that's awesome. Yeah. But, um, but usually, usually whatever I get is fine. And if I don't have enough, I'll ask for something more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, just two more questions. Um, uh, I say also, we just rather see the actor just do the thing I'm doing. You know what <laughs> right. I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know. I'd rather just take the, the it's, it's how much time is it off someone's day to watch a, a tape? You know what I mean? It's like not that much. So right. I'd rather just kind of do it, like have them just do the scene and not have to base it on, you know, the reel that was, that was cut together. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I totally understand that. Yeah. Um, so for someone who might want to get in touch with you, do you prefer like a physical headshot or like a, one of your million emails a day or like how, how would they, uh, you know, submit their stuff to you? If they don't like have an agent, I guess. Um, right, right, right. Probably the best way is um, just to do it to um, probably to Rachel Tenor Casting at Gmail would be the best way. Um, 
but you know, within reason, it's like, you know, they, every, every, things get looked through, I promise. So I, we don't need, if, you know, you can't send one like every day or every, you know, every week, every, you know, just like send it, we'll get it and, you know, make, make note of it and everything, but you just can't, you know, repeatedly sending things. That's gonna, that would be too much. Yeah, Rachel, I've sent you 15 emails. You've never responded. Exactly, exactly. And right, and each one gets more belligerent than the next, right? Listen, <laughs> Why, I mean, most, and most of the time people won't respond, you know? I think, you know, we just, it, we have it, we got it, we check that email. So, you know, if it doesn't, um, if you don't get a response, it doesn't mean that it wasn't received. I know it's frustrating because it's like out in the ether, but I'm, I'm telling you that we, we get them all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, uh, my question that I'd love to ask, uh, what's been like the worst audition you've ever seen? Something like that's crazy. You're like, oh my God, what happened? Oh my God. The, oh my God. The worst audition. I mean, I, when I was casting in Chicago, I remember I had to leave the room and I came back and the person was like top, almost pretty much topless when I came back in. You know, like in some, I they just thought it was part of the character and the role, and I was like, this is too much. <laughs> like they had on something, and I it was just took me by surprise. I was by surprise, and I was like, you know, you don't need to. That doesn't. That's not necessary. It was. It was. It wasn't like totally topless, but it was like a. My God, I, it's like I have it's such a fuzzy memory, but I, it still sticks with me. It was so many years ago. Yeah, it was something to that like that thing, but I don't think. I'm trying to think of like other crazy. That'll teach you to leave the room. I mean. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> or maybe like there was like, if like sometime like maybe someone slapped the reader, you know, they were in the moment and like, but literally like slapped them. And I was like, oh boy, that's, uh, you know, that felt bad for the reader. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I don't really, I don't think I get that many. Um, that's funny. Now watch, I'll like, You'll like think of yeah, I'll 17 think things. Of like but no, I really can't think of nothing's coming to me at all. No worries. Hey, I think that's my time. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Yeah, I really appreciate absolutely. it. Thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think you're great. And I love everything you cast. You're terrific. Oh, you're nice. Thank you so much. It's really yeah. nice. All right. Thank all right. you. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Bye.